Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and very interesting guests in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and my pop of girls are not complete. I have just one, if you're all my. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. We'll Rest be fine. Well? we'll be fine, right? Yeah. Definitely we'll be as fine. Always. Yeah. We're cool like that. <laughs> okay, so as the impact of coronavirus outbreak <clears throat> hits the world, the release of the new Fast and Furious movie um, has been pushed back by 11 months. Fast and Furious 9 was due out in May, but we're now um, not to reach cinemas until April 2021. Mm. This follows delay to other films, including James Bond's No Time to Die, A Quiet Place 2, and Peter Rabbit 2. Yeah. I think this one is now, it's quite sad for me. Yeah. Like, extremely, it's, it's, it's more sad than when we discussed um, No Time to Die. Yeah. I mean, I can still hold on for five years. I don't <laughs> care. But Fast and Furious yeah. 9, I really was looking forward to May. Yeah, um, I think it's, uh, we're going to see this going on. I feel like we're going to be talking about this a lot, mm -hmm. like different movies just cancelling. It's like we're living in a horror story. Is mm -hmm. it just me? Yeah. Like, what's happening? Um, so if, if people, if there are people like us or like me who are extroverted that, you know, have social, we like social gatherings. Like, I think we're going to feel it really or hard. people whose source of livelihood are mm. based on social gatherings. gatherings. They're going to have a very happen. hard time. Um, but I think people who have always been chilling at home, didn't even go for cinemas yeah. anyway, we we'll, wouldn't we'll, we'll really mind the story. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, coronavirus, can you please just go? Let's go back well, to regardless, our Well, regardless, even if you chill at home, there's something about the monies that other people make and how it affects you. So, yeah. there has to be circulation. Yeah. The money that would be made from um, Fast and Furious going to the cinema, for example, would definitely have a ripple effect on almost everybody of in course. that space or even beyond. So, <clears throat> um, even if you don't watch movies, this is also going to affect you somehow. Yeah. So, feel my pain. <laughs> All right, we have guests, but let's touch on this one. This one says, I used to think I was ugly. I thought being black was dirty. So I took to skin bleaching and suffered horrible side effects years later. But that is the result of self-hate. I shared my story and got help. Now I have um, I have learned to say I am black and I'm beautiful black woman. Mm. This is coming from Ghanaian singer M. Zibel. In a recent interview, she said she has come to understand life and she's trying to connect to who she, she is. is. Mm. This is good. Very. Um, <laughs> so when we talk about bleaching, I know we would say, oh, it's your body, you do what you want to do. But we also talk about the side effects of using these creams or these products. And um, so many people with the side effects do not necessarily come out to tell you this what has happened. Yeah. They only tell you or show you when they still look good. Yeah. Right? But when the side effects begin to happen and they have to go through a series of um, cosmetic surgeries or she says she goes to churches to help herself. Mm -hmm. Now, you're either doing that or doing the other one. Yeah. It's never easy, which is why it is advised not to even start it at yeah. all. Like, enjoy your skin. Mm. Sometimes I wonder why someone with the melanin skin wants to be like somebody like me. Like, being like mm -hmm. me is terrible yes i'm me so i can see it it is it is not easy so yeah. i don't know why you want to leave a skin that is uh, more um healthy and also able to fight a lot of diseases on its own yeah. and want to come to i don't know i don't know i think it's because of the perception that has been created for a very long time mm -hmm. it takes me back to the guest that we had on the show when i was saying to her that i'm sure you didn't mean to hurt people but it stems from ignorance again um dark skin has been perpetrated to be ugly mm -hmm. um i'm what a grown woman but i still fight to remind myself that i'm beautiful you are beautiful <laughs> but wow. it, you know it's one thing to think that and it's another thing to because such social beings um you need that um, acknowledgement from from others as well mm -hmm. so if you're growing up and you see that your friends are light skin everybody gets compliments but you don't or you get to your teenage and um, the light skin girls get picked but you don't and it gets your adult age and then the people who are more attractive get to the front page then you don't and you just have to pick up a magazine to see that it was just recently that there was a video going on online about a documentary that they had made ages ago in the 90s for american kids and there are two dolls black doll and a white i don't know if you've seen it i'll send it to you later and they're always asking like who's the ugly doll is the black doll who is the bad doll who's the nice doll is the white one so this has been going on for a very a long, long time. time i expect to say that it's coming from slavery times when they took us and did that whole segregation and then if you're light skin you go into the house if you're dark skin. so it's it's been a long time coming um and i agree with what they're saying that we are beautiful but i think it's more than just saying that lightly um mm -hmm. 
especially for black people who are living in that skin color. I'm grateful that I have people who help me get to that journey. But I know when I go outside that I'm not necessarily the majority in terms of like what the beauty standard is supposed to look like. But am I getting more comfortable in my skin? Yes. And is it as bad as me getting a bleaching cream? No. And I'm just, I'm grateful that that's not the case, but I understand the struggle. Yeah. And we also have to acknowledge the people who are actively working to change our narratives. Yeah. So you have magazine covers that would, um, intentionally have black girls yeah. on their cover to let you know that black is beautiful or yeah. just create a level of diversity. So you're having a light skin girl, you're having the dark skin yeah. girl, and um, they just want you to understand that beauty does not have a certain standard. Yeah. Like you are beautiful just the way you are. So kudos to people that are doing that. Also, I've also noticed some uh, music um, Videos, musicians, yeah. yeah, they try to use just dark, dark skin, skin all yeah. through, right? Yeah. And I'm glad. So let's keep up the work. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, it is start now, so it will take a while yeah. before that perception fizzles away yeah. with time all right it's time for a quick break but when we return we have very interesting guests coming your way